So guys, here's a video, something a little bit different. Now, I'm going to mention a couple of things before I get on to the main point of this. Um, the Muddy Boots actually mentioned it to some people. Um, it's something I've actually looked at uh, before when it first started coming out. I've, I quite I, I follow the news about the EU and all that lot quite. I'm interested in what their devious little tricks are in general. Now, there's a couple of articles what they're trying to pass, a couple of things they're trying to pass, which is Article 11 and Article 13. Now, they're both pretty drastic and they're, pro and they're going to cause a lot of problems for internet users like you and me. Whereas some people in some countries won't be able to see each other's videos due to the fact that some stuff will be just banned from, censored, you know. Censorship doesn't work, or it does, it does work, but it's wrong, isn't it? I mean, there's freedom of speech and there's freedom, isn't there, you know? And uh, there's a lot being said about it lately. Um, a lot of people have been muted and deplatformed in other ways, shadow banned, for having an opinion which differs from, let's say, Silicon Valley's idea of what free speech should be. Free speech is good as long as you agree with what they think. Now, Article 11 in particular is, is a funny one. Now, it, it, it's saying a, a link tax, right? Now, all these big internet providers, uh, say YouTube and uh, social media providers, let's say, YouTube and all the others, um, I, I, I really, if you're watching this and you haven't heard of 11 and 13, do some search on uh, research on internet here. On, on YouTube, there's some videos about it. But I'll basically cover w what this is. I'm reading a news article now, which I'm going to cover now. But if Article 11 passes and I put a link in that, the the news site sh should be paid. They're wanting to that they should be paid a link tax. So by me sending more traffic to them, they want to tax us for sending more traffic to them, which to me is a little bit crazy. I mean, obviously, if you're going to look at theirs, they've got their ads and all that stuff. They make money from that. But they also want to put a tax on it. Now, this is going through EU at, at present. And if they do that, it could be catastrophic because anybody who's showing a video, it could be you, you might not be able to see it or they might not even be able to upload it due to this because YouTube's got to control it or, um, or Facebook's got to control it. You can't put a link or an excerpt from that three words or something like that they're saying so in reality if i make a sentence and three of those words in that sentence are in a news story they could say oh no we want tax for that <laughs> three words in a row you know what i'm saying which is ridiculous but i'm going to put the link to this and article 13 affects us all as well now if you put a meme up or say if i had uh, if i said i've just got a builder in anywhere a mickey mouse job and i put a picture of mickey mouse up here then i could be in problem big problems for copyright due to this system now it's going to cost lots of money to implement this system due to the fact that they're going to have to put algorithms to find these problems yeah or these potential problems copyright issues pictures whatever it be and they're going to have to employ more people because there's going to be disputes so they've got to actually have a person to see or to speak to to check it out to see if it is actually a proper problem but what happens then if you are monetized your money monetization will be stopped until it's either until the problem sorted out. Either way, in your in our favour, which don't often very go, uh, or in their favour, yeah. And so, if you know yourself, the first few days of your video going up, that's when you make your money. But if it's got no monetization for the first few days, then you've lost all that potential revenue. I don't make any money anyway, I tell you. <laughs> a couple hundred francs a year. Yay! You know what I mean? Phil Caro. But the point is, it's going to cause more problems. And this is what EU are trying to do. And how, how it will also affect us is that we won't be able to see other news in other countries or other news from other places. Sometimes it'll just be banned altogether. Right? Which means you've only got the normal media to rely on to give you the actual truth about what's going on. Now, I'm not being funny, but the all the media, what I've seen, all the big media, is in the pocket of somebody, and they only, they've got a narrative, you know? They're feeding you that narrative all the time, and that narrative could be what, uh, what um, Facebook wants to feed you, or what YouTube wants to feed you. And the, unfortunately, 
all the big media outlet uh, or media outlets seem to be all very left leaning so is silicon valley right and for an independent group to send set up another platform would cost well they won't be able to do it due to the fact now because if this law came in just for all oops and rings they've got to jump through to, to to set it up it wouldn't be viable so it means that all these big companies that are now in charge of um social media uh, they, they can't lose there's no competition it's like a monopoly it's mafia eu mafia and it'd be facebook mafia you know what i'm saying the, 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 nobody would be able to compete as a from a small startup so that's one thing now i'm going to put a link to this news article this is a news article on something else but look up 11 and 13 if you don't if you haven't heard about anything about it look it up and it's very interesting and very scary because what we're talking about is freedoms here yeah um and we're losing all those freedoms really really quickly now i mean i live in switzerland it's a little bit different um the government it's a proper democracy everybody can vote they vote all the time and it works pretty well but like uk is going to hell in a handcart i nearly said something rude then but up the uh brown creek but this is an interesting thing uk british companies are planning on microchipping their staff to boost security and now what they're saying is that well if you've got a, uh, a microchip you can't lose it yeah you can't forget it at home like a badge or anything like that now i've worked in a lot of companies where i've where i've where you've had to have high security and i've worked using fingerprints so they're all original that is again one thing i don't really like that having to use a fingerprint where a card would have done but that fingerprint works but if you're chipped means that they've got a reader it's the chip they're planning on using exactly the same sort of thing that they put in a dog or a cat you know in your pets my dog's a chip so that if one goes running into the street and somebody picks it up they can take it and have it scanned at vets and they know who it belongs to yeah but putting them in people this is scary stuff if you can you imagine it i mean could that how could that be abused uh, mr orwell if you've got a chip in you you've got to walk you've got to take it to a reader yeah but why not if these readers are strong enough they could put them ever, anywhere in the streets you know what i mean now the people who are going to be chipped are the hard-working tax-paying people in general i should imagine not every tom dick and harry who might have just come come over from cali he won't be chipped it will be all the normal people now that's a that's a slippery slope in my opinion because it could be so abused you, you could have chip readers everywhere can't you they could just set little on lamp posts on whatever however they wanted to do it and I'd, it sounds paranoid but they're actually want, wanting to do this i know there's some place a place in sweden they've got a place with i think there's four thousand people they've said have been chipped four thousand pe people chipped in sweden now that and of which are 85 percent are employees of the, the the travel firm tui now come on it's back i mean we all carry mobile phones i'm sure or most people carry mobile phones now and they can triangulate where you are providing they know what your number is and everything is and i know there's an argument saying well if you've done nothing wrong you've got nothing to worry about but who's policing the police yeah the uh, again i'll go back to eu the eu are unelected bureaucrats they've they're not held responsible in any way for anything they do right they're unelected we can't vote them in we can't vote them out that's off the problem why england or the uk is going to want a brexit because they've got no control over what's happening with the laws what you know i understand people have got other other thoughts but i don't think they've looked into it correctly uh, <clears throat> there's a lot more disadvantages to being in the eu than advantages i can uh, i can tell you now i say i find this chip wanting to chip people mind-blowing and more people more, more people uh, more times they'll set this and suggest this stuff it becomes more acceptable don't ever accept that that's uh, what it all said it's better to die free than live in chains or whatever all right i think that was an american president now I believe that this free speech thing that you get 
people getting shut down for whatever for whatever they're saying. They're saying if you don't agree with the rhetoric from the newspapers, for instance, the the normal press, yeah, who just tell you what they think they should tell you or what the narrative which they want you to hear. That's all you will hear if they get through with this Article 19, uh, Article 13, sorry, and Article 11, because you will only be able to get that narrative. It'll be like state-sponsored TV in China. You will get the propaganda, but you won't get any any of the other news. That is not what will be open to you. That's what they're trying to do with internet now. And again, if they're chipping people, they've got con complete control over your life. Like I mentioned before, in a cashless society, complete control over your life. If the system goes down, you've got no money. They can control how much money you've got. They can look and say, oh, well, why has he got that extra £10 in there? Shouldn't have that. We'll uh, be able to do something about, well, let's take that out, or whatever they want to do, go and question, send starts around, or whatever they want to do. Because that's what it's getting like. I've had my little rant, but people, be careful, and uh, think about what you wish for or what, what's going on. Because more we allow that to happen, more... They will take. If you give them an inch, they'll take a yard. And that's the biggest problem. We've got laid back in the last few years and and we're just going, yeah, yeah, that's all right, yeah. It doesn't work like that. One day we're going to have big problems. EU army, that'll be catastrophic. If they get an army, well, well guess yourself. Anyway, I'll leave you to it. It's nice to be nice. <laughs>